Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about nebulization. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. The learning objectives we will be discussing in this session will be What is nebulization? What are the main benefits of nebulization? What are the indications and contraindications of nebulization? What are the parts of nebulization machine? How to provide nebulization? What are the complications of nebulization? Let's get into the topic. What is nebulization? Nebulization is a method of converting a drug or solution into an aerosol which is inhaled directly into the lungs with the help of nebulizer. In simple terms, delivering medication in the form of a mist or aerosol to the respiratory tract. And nebulization is mainly used to liquefy and remove retained secretions from the respiratory tract. Next, let's discuss the benefits of nebulization. Nebulization is suitable for all age groups from infants to the elderly. Next, Nebulization minimizes systemic exposure and potential side effects because it delivers medication directly to the respiratory tract and this aerosolized form of medication allows for better distribution of the medication into the lungs. Next, nebulized medication can have a rapid onset of action because they are delivered directly to the target site. The next benefit is the patient compliance. Nebulization is often more convenient for patients and easy to administer. Now comes indications of nebulization. It is commonly used to treat various respiratory conditions like pneumonia, bronchitis, asthma, COPD, cystic fibrosis, bronchiectasis, etc. Nebulization is used for post-operative care. It is used as part of post-operative care, particularly after chest or upper airway surgeries to maintain lung function, prevent atelectasis. Nebulization is used before and after extubation. In case of allergic reactions, Nebulized epinephrine can reduce airway swelling in cases of severe allergic reactions, that is anaphylaxis, that affect the respiratory system. Contraindications of nebulization include hypersensitivity, hypertension, cardiac irritability, tachycardia, unconscious patients, severe respiratory distress. Next comes common medicines used in nebulizers. First comes bronchodilators, for example, albuterol, that is salbutamol, and leave albuterol, formoterol, and salmeterol. Bronchodilators are used to relieve bronchoconstriction. Next is corticosteroids, for example, butisonide. Beclomethasone dipropionate. Corticosteroids are used to reduce inflammation of upper airway. Next is mucolytics and expectorants. Mucolytics and expectorants are a group of medications that work by thinning and loosening mucus in the airways, helping to clear chest congestion. Common examples of expectorants include guaifenesin and ammonium chloride combined with diphenylhydramine. Common examples of mucolytics are acetylcysteine, bromhexin, ambroxol, and carbocysteine. Normal saline 0.9% and 3% are also commonly used for nebulization. Next comes parts of nebulizer. Parts of nebulizer includes mouthpiece, teepiece, mask. The mask is the portion of the device 
that covers the patient's nose and mouth, creating a seal to prevent medication aerosols from escaping into the environment. Nebulization masks come in various sizes to accommodate both pediatric and adult patients. Next is elastic straps. Nebulization masks are secured to the patient's face using elastic straps that go around the head. These straps are adjustable to ensure a snug and comfortable fit for the patient. Next is nebulization chamber. The nebulizer chamber is the component where the liquid medication is placed for aerosolization. It typically has a cap or lid that can be removed for medication administration. Nebulizer chambers may have a small well or baffle to prevent liquid medication from entering the tubing. When we look into the tubing, the mask is connected to a length of flexible tubing that extends to the nebulizer chamber. The tubing allows the aerosolized medication to travel from the nebulizer to the mask for inhalation. Next is the connector. The connector is the interface between the nebulizer chamber and the tubing. It allows for a secure connection, ensuring that the aerosolized medication flows from the chamber into the tubing and ultimately to the mask. Next is oxygen inlet, which is optional. In case where supplemental oxygen is needed, some nebulization masks have an oxygen inlet that allows oxygen to be mixed with the aerosolized medication. This is particularly used for patients who require both nebulized medication and oxygen therapy. Next is articles required for nebulization that includes nebulization machine, nebulization set, adult mask with tubing, ordered medications, sputum cup with disinfectant, disposable tissues. Now, let's discuss the procedure for nebulization. Identify the patient and explain the procedure to the patient. After wearing the mask and once the nebulization is on, educate the patient to inhale deeply and slowly through the mouth or nose and holding their breath for a few seconds at the end of each inhalation in order to allow the medication to reach the airways effectively. Instruct the patient to exhale slowly through the mouth to prevent medication wastage. Next, place the patient in semi fowler's position. This includes placing half the pillow beneath the shoulders and half beneath the head so that the head and neck are extended. Diaphragmatic excursion and lung compliance are greater in this position. In simple terms, when placing patient in semi position, the head should be extended facing the roof and not facing the floor. Next, wash hands and wear PPE, that is glove, mask, etc. Pour the prescribed amount of medicine into the nebulizer cup and close it tightly. Connect the nebulizer kit tubing to the nebulizer machine or oxygen source. Next, switch on the nebulizer machine or to the oxygen source 2-4 to four liters per minute and notice for mist produced by the nebulizer. If not, Recheck the mask and nebulizer for malfunction. Place the mask on patient's face to cover his mouth and nose and instruct the patient to inhale slowly. Stay with the patient until the medication gets over. That is, continue nebulization until all the medication has been administered which usually takes 5 to 10 minutes. At the end of the treatment, turn off the power switch or oxygen valve. Remove the mask and wipe the face. 
On completion of the treatment, encourage the patient to cough after several deep breaths and offer sputum cup. Replace the articles and clean the nebulization equipment. Properly clean and disinfect all nebulization equipment including nebulization chamber, mask or mouthpiece, tubing, and compressor if used. Follow hospital policies and manufacturer guidelines for equipment cleaning and maintenance. Next, wash hands. Document the procedure and check the vital signs. Now comes complications of nebulization. Throat dryness or irritation. For this reason, patients are encouraged to drink water or fluids after nebulization. Next complication includes electrolyte imbalances. Hypotonic saline nebulization can cause electrolyte imbalances such as increased sodium levels in the blood, especially with prolonged or excessive use. Acetylene nebulization can reduce the potassium level Next is voice changes. Inhaled corticosteroids when used long term can cause hoarseness or voice changes as they may affect the vocal cords. Next is tachycardia. Some bronchodilators can lead to an increase in heart rate that is tachycardia which can be concerning in patients with certain cardiac conditions. Other complications include bronchospasm headache, etc. So, so far, we have discussed what is nebulization, what are the main benefits of nebulization, what are the indications and contraindications of nebulization, what are the parts of nebulization mission, how to provide nebulization, and complications of nebulization. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it, and subscribe it, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. So here you go with nebulization. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.